A very good morning, amigos. Buenos dias, que tal, como están? How you doing? It is another beautiful day here in Puerto Vallarta, Jalisco, Mexico. The weather is actually pretty nice. Super nice. Do we look like we're missing something? It's sweat. <laughs> we're not sweating yeah. here in Vallarta. Amigos, uh, today, well actually, before we go too much into this, today, later in the video, we have a special surprise for all of you, so please continue to keep watching. It's sort of a surprise for us too because we can't pick it up, we can't see it until 5 p.m. So yes. even we are gonna be surprised. But amigos, today we are talking all about public transportation here in Mexico, public transportation uh, more specifically in Vallarta, and we're gonna tell you why you should not shop at local Mexican markets. What? Maybe, kind of, you gotta, you gotta watch. Now before we go any further, we would like to thank our patron of the day, but Rosinadora, <laughs> Belia, Hilda Placencia Lopez, you are a patron of the day. Thank you so much to you, Hilda, along with all of other patrons. If you would like to become a patron, we'll put the link here on the screen or down below in the description of this video. If you don't know what Patreon is or why we always mention this strange website, it's a way for communities to support um, their people. Their creators. <laughs> if you will. Think if of you will. it. Their favorite creators. You can think of it similar to Netflix or brand new and even more famous than Netflix, Disney Plus. Yeah, um, you, you can go. pledge an amount to support our work here in Mexico. You can head on over to patreon.com slash Connecticut and learn more. Now on to the public transportation. I don't know if we uh, are as good as Disney Plus, but Disney Plus doesn't say your name, all right? <laughs> Uh, they recently changed the bus system here in Vallarta, so that is what we're checking out today. We are in downtown, we're in the Zona Romantica, we're by Parque Lazaro Cárdenas. That name always trips me up. Uh, we're by Basilio Bedillo, and we want to go to Mega, or La Comer, La Comer y Costco. And somewhere right here. Some over here, we don't know how to get there, but we're gonna figure it out, and we're gonna see what the cost is and what the speed is like compared to a taxi or Uber. A ver, if we can actually find the bus. Gracias. Gracias. Ah, bueno. Y vamos a la comer. Me avisas cuando estamos sí. Gracias. terribly bad at all it cost us 20 pesos uh one total dollar it took us how long about 24 minutes plus a little walk but it's not really that far no I mean, it's it's walking it's good for you so 24 minutes one dollar to get to la comer uh, and i did want to say i think we were on the z t3 bus that it, it picked up on picked up people on basilio badillo uh oh, yeah. or right you could the right before the small tunnel or you could go to the parque lazaro Car cardenas how the heck you say that? By the, by the park. The normal bus stop. And just ask, if you're not sure, just, I don't know if you speak Spanish or not. Costco, La Comer, Donde, Little Como. Caesars. Little Caesars. Me ayudas por favor, queremos ir a La Comer. Gracias. Don't shop at Mexican markets. Okay, we're being, we're trolling you a little bit. Obviously we shop at Mexican markets, highly recommend. 
shopping at Mexican markets. And actually right off the bat today, the obvious benefit for us of shopping at a local market versus coming to a super is the time. Uh, there are plenty of markets in like most neighborhoods of this area. At least there's one in Cinco, there's one in, uh, uh, there's one over by Walmart, and there's also one, there's probably one in Pitial, and there's one in uh, Emiliano Zapata. So we can like go work out, go to CrossFit, and it is right there. We can get pretty much everything we need on a daily basis. We get, well not a daily basis, but several days a week we go and get our cheese we will get chicken we'll get like things like uh like the basics of pretty much any meal in mexico um jitomate cebolla cilantro que mas chiles chicken, chicken i mentioned uh some fruits and vegetables however where we do feel like there is a benefit to shopping at a super and what we would like your input on is when do you shop at a supermarket if you live in mexico versus going to a local market is there are some things that we have found to be more reasonably priced, to be a little bit fresher, uh, to be higher quality at a supermarket versus a, a local market. So there's definitely benefits to both. We're gonna kind of explore that today, but we need your help as well. For example, something like uvas, something like grapes. Um, what we've actually seen at a lot of markets is it seems like they'll go to Costco or they'll go somewhere else and get some things like this that aren't as aren't eaten as much. Obviously the markets here like mango, cebolla, cilantro, like peppers, um, things like that are gonna be very, very cheap. Uh, but then there's some things that I think they're marked up a little bit because they get them from other stores here in the area. Not sure, I don't know. Just a gringo, all right? For example, for once in my life, I have been right at least on something this time, maybe, although you'll probably tell me I'm wrong. This spin is the Popeye the spinach. Uh, spinach, spinach, espinaca. Uh, we get at the market and I believe it's around how many pesos? 50, 50 pesos, about two and a half dollars. Here it is 40 pesos. So uh, that's a pretty significant uh, savings here. Though it did take time to get here and it did take 20 uh, pesos on the bus, but proves my point that there are some things at supermarkets that are cheaper. However, I know, I mean, the benefit of shopping in market is you, know, you feel like you're supporting the community more, but I'm just trying to just trying to show what makes more sense to get a super versus not a super. Example number two of something that is actually a little cheaper at a supermarket are strawberries. Pesos. These are 60 pesos, and I believe at the market we got them for 80 pesos. They look like, I don't know if it's the exact same brand or not. Uh, these look a little bit higher the, quality the potentially ones in the market were in the same sort of sort of tub like they had just sort of packaging they did seem a little older but it could have just been the day that we went however uh depending on how many strawberries you eat i think your actual best quality and best uh best quality and best value like price per price per strawberry is probably at costco That's a big loaf. One, two, probably at least three or four samples here, so pretty large. What kind of bread is this? Rosca de Reyes, which strangely looks like pan de muerto. But it's for Christmas, right? Yeah, it seems a bit early for Christmas. Cue the Christmas, Christmas music. Christmas music, oh my gosh. That's delicious. Pretty good too. Oh, yeah. Good free samples, but in all seriousness, we do like uh, getting our bread from Colleen's. Uh -huh. Shout out to Colleen's. But Colleen's does not have cake. I'm gonna try a different one. Okay. Uh, 
not sure what kind of cake this is, but. Delicious. What are these for? These are for Contolo orders. And if you're lucky, you get the one with scoliosis. Oh, nice. That's a Hillary sucker. Hey. What are these for the, we sell suckers on Contolo or what? No, this, this is a special little secret surprise, no longer secret surprise treat that goes into every single packed <laughs> order that you purchase on our website, alwayscontolo.com. <laughs> What do you feel like your thoughts are on never ever shopping at a local market? Wait, never ever shopping at a local market or never shopping at a grocery store? Well, either one. Yeah, we had to. I think there's, I think there's like a time and a place for both. Honestly. What is? What do you feel like is more convenient or like what do you feel like is better for shopping not at a market? More convenient for us is the market because it's a block or two from uh, the gym that we go to every yeah. day. Um, I do think, however, if you need like a bunch of groceries, a cartload, a boatload, if you will. <laughs> I do think while Comer or a supermarket may be a better option, depending on what you're looking for. Um, I think there's a time and a place for both, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Twenty-four minutes later, we have made it home. Twenty-four minutes both for the bus yeah. and for the Uber, which is surprising because yeah. typically I think of buses as being slower because of the stops. Uh, but and I don't feel like there's really traffic coming home with the Uber. Uber costs eighty pesitos, which is about four dollars, four times as much as uh, as the bus. And you know, to be quite honest, it wasn't to me. It wasn't any more comfortable. But there's obviously. Did you know there's and new seats on the buses. Yeah. I feel like that was something that we really didn't like. And I remember buses being packed. Yeah, but this one really wasn't. No. Uh, it wasn't Not too bad. Well. Okay, amigos, we have one last surprise for you. Now, I told you guys earlier that we had a special surprise at five o'clock. We are right on gringo time at 4.57. We are making a brand new, the classic Condolo shirt. We are so super excited. You guys bought the Calavera shirt that Greg is actually they wearing They sold today. out quick. They sold out being rapidly. <laughs> and today we are here, sort of behind the scenes, we're gonna get to see uh, Greg, and my, Greg and I are getting our shirts made first, um, right now before our eyes, so we're gonna watch Jorge get to work. Good, don't they? I think they look good. Rich. This time, obviously, with the Calavera shirt was very complicated and, and, and 
Intricate. Intricate. We want to do something just very plain, very yeah. simple, I but think, yet. I think we should call this the classic. The con todo classic. Yeah. But I mean, for us, if you haven't, if you don't know, con todo means like with everything. Uh, and it's just kind of has become, you know, a second mantra in terms yeah. of how love's just do more, be more. But con todo is like, go with everything, give, give it your all, like, or just literally when you order tacos, siempre con todo, cilantro, chile, salsa, everything, uh, whatever they have, except cueritos. Siempre con todo. Sin cueritos. Pero siempre sin cueritos. But, amigos, these are now on sale all over at alwayscontodo.com or siempreconto.com. Uh, it is a pre-order, so order fast. We're only going to give uh, Jorge the exact two days, the exact number uh, that you all order. So if you don't order, then I guess you won't get one. We're not doing any more Calaveras anytime soon. So if you missed out, I'm sorry. We will do it maybe, maybe, next, year. maybe next year or sometime in 20. 20, but oh classic con todo amigos thank you all so much for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel we don't really say this anymore <laughs> it's been a while since we made videos until next time have us do more be more con todo